morning, how are we doing? It's a wet Sunday morning in Scotland and a bit of growth, so shave, so salt. Using a sample today from Barrister and Man, which is jacinth, which I believe is lemon, hyacinth, pear, and tomato leaf. So, I'm not really getting much of a scent off it. But because it's a sample, obviously I can't load from that. So I'm using the prior they brought it on the prior shavery ball ABS you can see it's nicely ridged and patterned inside and soaps in there brush which is currently soaking just it Masito 24mm finest badger one thing I like about this ball is you can just do that with your brush it just sits there so it makes it quite nice and the razor is a Rex Ambassador with everything upside down today and you get stainless red or red stainless which is on its third shave I just haven't put the dot on the wrapper yet I'm going to start the Rex off at number seven, about three and a half I'll get some one wash in the sink I'll get a half teaspoon measure for adding soap to the bowl that's giving the bush a squeeze out so yeah Sunday morning It's persistently pouring here in Scotland today. So the idea of venturing out for the morning was a no-go. Yeah, it's quite a light, quite a light scent. Let me spot. Didn't even feel it come up. Didn't even know it would burst until I started washing my face this morning. Okay, we're looking a bit, a bit airy. That was to a man, so I imagine it'll like a drink. One thing I like about this ball is it, you can just hold it with your thumb. Wish I was taller. You can drop it, it's not going to break because it's like an ABS sort of plastic injection molded. And because of the height of it, you get very, very little spillage of the sides of the ball. As you can see, it's, it puts together a nice lava. As you can see, there's probably still, yeah, there's, there's still bubbles in there. I don't think the soap is 
available anymore. It's a seasonal release from last year. It's a sample I was sent. One I haven't used, so there we go. Give the nose, give the nose a squeeze. So as you can see, got a fair bit. Obviously the brush in the bowl has done most of the work, so I don't have to spend long on the face, so hopefully just paint it on. Last Forester and Monsanto I used. There was loads left in the bowl and I thought that's okay, I'll get a head shave out of that. So I got cleaned up, went and do my head shave and the soap just gone, just, just disappeared. Which was slightly disappointing. I think a lot of the time I'm talking here about UK shavers and European shavers. We forget how good some of the local products, I am talking non-US products, actually are from Europe that are readily available. And we just we just forget. You see all the All the hyped up American stuff. Don't get me wrong, some of it is very good. Yeah. Well, there's my brush. Some of the soap bases like the CK6 soap base from Phoenix Arts and Accoutrements from Douglas. Very good salt base. Okay, so Rex Ambassador on three and a half. With the Gillette red stainless. Third use. For anybody new to wet shaving, I'm not looking to have a smooth face after or bar has been removed. This time over the face, all I'm doing is getting rid of the beard that's there. And the next two or three goes, times will go over the face. That will clean it off.
any bits of stubble that are left and then we can tidy everything up. How you shave is entirely up to you. I'm not a great chaser for what they call a BBS shave, baby butt smooth. If you need a wet shaving, the general take as you do with the grain pass, so once you know which direction your hair grows. So you go, for sake of clarity, we'll go straight down. That's with the grain. Then we go across the grain in quite the direction, and you go against the grain. And after that, you'll have a few round, and you'll go over and reshave any areas that you think are a bit rough. My preferred method is with the grain across and then across and then pick ups. I find it causes less aggravation and irritation for me. Remember, it's my shave. Or just the directs down to two and a half. So today I think is going to be a day of catch up TV, we've got a bit of stuff recorded. So we'll get caught up with everything. Watch the uh, Chernobyl last night, first three episodes of that. It's worth a watch. Makes sense. Lemon, pear, hyacinth, tomato leaf. Quite light, <clears throat> it's not in your face.
Right. Pickups, which essentially today, pickups fourth pass, so to speak. First one came down, this one's going to go straight up, really. Here, because I'm enjoying the shave. There's not a lot left. So I've just adjusted the direct start to one lap, 1.5. And again, that's my generally my problem area, the chin. So instead of going straight up, I tend to go across 45 degrees. Before I go straight up. Yes, yeah. <clears throat> I'm done. I could spend the next half hour just chasing over little rough spots. So that's what was in the brush. That's what's left in the bowl. I'll leave that in there. And I'm going to well, we'll try and reinvigorate that for a head shave later on. So I'm going to get cleaned up, and then we'll be back for the post shave bar. Push here, so I'll see, see you in a minute. Okay, well, uh, a quick rinse. Nose is still bleeding. So, go to Spain to finish off. After shave, Mersol Balsamica. It's basically bad at one time. It makes you smell like a woody pizza. Yeah. That's 
done his job. Now well, that's going off. Should we have a quick recap? Right. The saw we used today. Jacinth from Barrister and Man. Spring scent. I think it was last year's seasonal release. Sample got sent. Uh, white floral. And because it's a sample, I bought lathered it in the prior shavery bowl, ABS injection molded, as you can see. Still plenty of soap in there. Which might keep a life to itself. The brush for today, 24mm, chubby sort of style. Macito, finest badger. Look at the tips on that, lovely. Nice brush. Uh, razor and blade was our ex ambassador with the Gillette red stainless. Now that after shave's gone off, I'm going to put a bit of moisture back in, staying with Mersol, I'm using Mersol Emulsion. Which, a bit like brown sauce, you hope he's going to come out of the bowl. Or tomato ketchup. Way too much, but hey. Don't mind well, I'm going to share that part there on purpose. T D. So there we are, Sunday shave, over and done. Now Paul H has had all his views out the way, people can flock and watch this. That's not going to happen. Right, any comments, uh, leave them below. And uh, thanks for watching. Bye for now.